Ethnic violence has flared again in western China, and once again the Chinese government has responded with deadly force. The mayor of Arumshi, the regional capital, says three days of clashes between riot police and Han Chinese protesters have left at least, have left at least five people dead. And as Clarissa Ward reports from that city tonight, the violence has taken a bizarre turn. Security forces fired tear gas to disperse crowds today as more than 1,000 people took to the streets of this ethnically divided city. The police clamped down on journalists, too, beating some reporters and confiscating cameras. The crowds had gathered to protest a lack of security in the city following a recent rash of syringe stabbings. According to the government, more than 500 people have been attacked with needles in the past two weeks, the work, they say, of Uyghur separatists. It's two months since fierce rioting between Han Chinese and ethnic Uyghur Muslims left nearly 200 people dead. In the wake of the violence, hundreds have been arrested, but many people are still hungry for retribution. Tonight, this city is under virtual lockdown, George. Since we arrived, we've had our cameras and our tapes confiscated, and we've been detained by the police. There's an enormous security presence on the ground, but that's unlikely to ease people's fears here about what the future will bring. George? Clarissa Ward, thanks.